Today, I'm going to introduce you to 10 exciting games where you can create and grow your own business, invest in different industries, and succeed in a highly competitive environment. Released in 1999, Roller Coaster Tycoon is an economic strategy game that challenges players to effectively manage their own amusement park. Success hinges on skillfully organizing the park to attract a growing number of visitors. Even after completing missions, players can choose to remain in the park, earning money and conducting research to enhance its uniqueness. Alongside the campaign mode, the game offers a free build option, where players construct parks from the ground up, manipulating geography and landscaping allows for customization, including altering terrain elevation, adding water features, and seamlessly integrating rides into the environment. Player attention must also be directed towards visitor needs, strategically placing amenities like food stalls, restrooms, and information kiosks. Roller coaster design is a highlight, enabling players to craft their own coaster layouts and other rides, dictating track pieces, direction, height, and steepness. Two Point Hospital is an economic game about hospital management. It is necessary to provide patients with treatment and care despite the most ridiculous diseases. You'll have to do this in the Two Peaks District, and there are plenty of different hospitals to choose from. In most cases, you start with an empty building and early customers already waiting on the horizon. Quickly set up a starter set of offices, registration, general practice, general diagnostics, pharmacy, restroom. Seat the first, administrators, and medical staff. Buy a couple of vending machinas with food and drinks, and then act according to the situation. Game Dev Tycoon is a captivating simulation game that puts players in the shoes of a budding game studio owner. Beginning in a humble garage setting, players dive straight into creating their first project, selecting themes, genres, platforms, and engines. Development unfolds across three stages, with players allocating time and resources across different aspects of the game. The excitement peaks upon releasing the first game, eagerly awaiting reviews from various magazines as they dictate sales and ultimately the fate of the company. Following the initial garage phase, players have the opportunity to expand by opening an office and hiring their first employees. Progression involves gradually enhancing both the team and oneself by assigning tasks aimed at improving qualifications. The game is enriched with a plethora of industry news tailored to suit the player's gaming preferences. Rise of Industry immerses players in the intricate management of their industrial empire. Spanning across the map are numerous cities hungry for your products. The objective is clear. Establish an industrial powerhouse by meeting the demands of these cities. Construct intricate supply chains, establish trade routes, erect diverse buildings, and profit from the sale of your goods. The game offers two primary modes, Career and Sandbox. In Sandbox mode, all features are unlocked from the start, offering unrestricted creativity. Conversely, in Career mode, players must select a specialization to kickstart their empire-building journey. With a multitude of factors to consider, thorough research is essential before diving into business ventures. Factors such as fertile land, minimal competition, and consumer willingness to spend must be carefully weighed. Securing prime real estate near preferred cities may require winning bids at auctions. While navigating this industrial landscape, players may encounter rare random events such as landowner promotions, though these occurrences are infrequent under default settings. In Gas Station Simulator, players embark on the journey of revitalizing an abandoned gas station, a project entrusted to them by their uncle. The initial tasks involve clearing piles of debris and restoring dilapidated structures. As vintage cars pull in for fuel, players gradually refurbish storage facilities and establish a convenience store. Transitioning to more extensive renovations, players hop onto tractors to carve out parking spaces and enhance the service station. Maintaining cleanliness and customer satisfaction becomes paramount, with parameters tracking the tidiness of the premises and the establishment's rating. Timely service and upkeep of the surroundings are crucial to ensuring customer happiness. As progress is made, hiring staff can streamline operations and ease the workload. The game introduces various challenges to keep players engaged, from accommodating eager tourists seeking a diverse product range to addressing tasks like unlocking car trunks in the parking lot. Moreover, unexpected events like sandstorms add further complexity, requiring players to promptly clear roads of sand debris for safe navigation. Prison Architect is a captivating strategy simulator where players assume the role of a prison owner. The bulk of gameplay revolves around the meticulous design and construction of a fully functional correctional facility, encompassing everything from the grand entrance and 
and administrative offices to solitary confinement cells and infrastructure for communication. Initial construction phases can be time-consuming, especially with limited funds allocated at the outset. Financial sustenance primarily comes from the state, offering compensation for each incarcerated individual. To bolster finances, players can opt for grants or invest savings in interest-bearing accounts. Additionally, leveraging prison-produced goods for trade or issuing shares for sale to investors are viable financial avenues. Alternatively, selling the entire prison provides a lump sum deposit for future endeavors. Expansion efforts aren't without challenges. Fires, floods, the emergence of criminal gangs, and frequent riots disrupt the tranquility of construction endeavors. Implementing daily routines and managing logistics via user-friendly interfaces help maintain order within the facility. Patrician 4 is a real-time economic strategy game, where players take on the role of a Hanseatic merchant in the late 14th century, aiming to amass wealth, respect, and influence within the Hanse. Initially, players embark on simple trading journeys, seeking profitable routes to trade goods. However, success is fleeting as markets saturate and profits dwindle. To thrive, players must adapt by creatively managing trade routes and meeting the needs of Hanseatic cities. As players accumulate capital, fleets, and reputation, they can expand into production, manufacturing goods for higher profits. Additionally, players can venture into the Mediterranean through expeditions. Pirates pose a significant threat to the player's business, potentially causing substantial losses. Players can defend against them by arming ships with cannons, although this sacrifices cargo capacity. Battles with pirates can be automated or controlled manually by the player. In Tropico 6, players take on the role of El Presidente, overseeing the management of Tropico, a Caribbean nation, across four distinct eras, colonial, world wars, cold war, and modern. The goal is to develop infrastructure, grow the economy, and maintain power. Generating revenue for the state involves constructing plantations and mines, exporting goods via nearby ports. However, ensuring smooth transportation within the island state requires a network of canter truckers and workers. To prevent conflict and upheaval, players must navigate the demands of various political factions, including communists, monarchists, militarists, and capitalists. Fulfilling faction requests, such as passing laws or constructing buildings, is essential for maintaining stability. Each faction is led by a specific leader, and sending them bribes can temporarily boost faction approval ratings. In the year 2329, Earth faces imminent disaster, and as a spaceship recycler, your humanity's final hope. Join Lynx Corporation's elite team of spacecraft disposers to salvage valuable parts from dangerous spacecraft orbiting other worlds. Your mission is to dismantle ships efficiently and safely, overcoming technical challenges like explosive tanks and unstable power systems. Gameplay is divided into 15-minute shifts, where you must maximize profits by quickly disassembling ships, earn Lynx tokens to upgrade tools and spacesuit for improved efficiency. Beware of dangers. Ship systems can threaten your life. Purchase a clone in case of critical damage to continue working. The game boasts detailed graphics and lighting, though occasional frame drops may occur due to flying debris intricacies. Story progression intertwines with your recycler profile, unveiling new narrative aspects as you advance in your career. However, once the main campaign ends, limited ship variation and plot finite can make the game feel monotonous. Offworld Trading Company is a sci-fi real-time strategy game set on Mars, uniquely devoid of military conflict. Instead, players compete via black market trading and swift acquisitions. Players represent one of four companies mining and supplying resources for human colonies on Mars and asteroid bases. Initial base placement is player chosen, but expansion is regulated by colony administration. The game incorporates auctions for building plots, technology, and sabotage, featuring a single-player campaign with seven missions spanning seven Martian days each, as well as daily missions with distinct environments, multiplayer matches lasting 20-30 minutes, pit players against each other or AI opponents. Various resources like water, iron, silicon, carbon, and aluminum are scattered on the planet, used to craft essential products for base life and trade. The Science Center provides access to technology affecting the economy. Resource prices fluctuate in real-time based on supply and demand, with hacking attacks capable of temporarily altering prices. Players can manipulate company stocks or conduct sabotage via the black market.